Okay, so faking the teep kick. So the idea is pretty simple here. If I've landed a bunch of successful teep kicks on my opponent, and they're getting uh, used to not wanting to deal with that pain. <laughs> so if I've landed this kick a whole bunch of times, oftentimes what'll happen is that they'll either move out, shell out like that, or maybe even try to catch on the kick. So faking that teep at that point, if I've had a bunch of successful attempts at landing it, then just a quick movement can sometimes cause a desired reaction for whatever you want to set up with that fake. Uh, something that we had learned from Gabriel Varga though, that I really, really liked his tip, is he said, try to show your opponent the bottom of your foot. So try to sell it a little bit before you get into your function, whether you're coming back with a punch, elbow, whatever. And what I thought was cool about that is that oftentimes you get so callous and seasoned if you sparred a lot that you're not gonna make any reaction unless something is like 80% of the way completed. So just two ways to kind of think of setting up a fake for that teep is if you haven't landed a bunch, you could kind of fake it and show her the bottom of the foot, so to speak, and and try to almost complete that kick, then follow up with the desired reaction. Or if you have landed it a bunch, a quick knee tilt or a quick knee lift like that might get you the desired reaction. Okay, so our question mark kick, try to think like you're drawing a question mark from the bottom portion and then kind of coming in with it. So from down here and then coming in. The idea with the question mark kick is this. I wanna try to come up with almost like a loose loaded uh, teep kick or a front kick like this. What's gonna happen then is I'm gonna slightly drop it to develop some power and then whip it around to do my roundhouse kick. So if I'm here, I'm one, two. Now you can take that to any height. Uh, oftentimes you can develop a lot of momentum and drop it down to the leg. So sometimes I'll use it to get people to bring their hands up. So I'm kind of faking going to the head and then dropping it down onto the leg. So just from straight on, if I'm here, I'm gonna pick that knee up drop it slightly and turn it around. So one, two.